assalamu alaikum once again welcome back to my channel playing in this way we are going to start uh, to make reflector and dinas basically the dish pair about the reflector and then we will also go to the casting ray and reflector and dina so i have made it already just want to show you how to make it No, I will define you these parameters, and this is the dish. This is a simple parabolic there, and then I add hyperbolic dish in front of it. It becomes a casting ray and feed in here. So these are the parameters I will let you know about them. First, I want to you, I want to make you go through the basics of. This parameter, uh, this antenna. So this is basically the this type of antenna. So then from this point to this point is. It's height. And the other, other point, this have some from center, it has some dia. At some point in the center, or set some way, it is some focal length. So we will decide which focal length we want to have something. And what, what should be, be the dia of our, our parabolic reflector? From that, that we will find out the height of our parabolic reflector, which we need to enter into our parameter. It is height is equal to d square over sixteen. And if I put Radius instead of diameter, the same power will be turned out in to R square over four. Next, I want to know about like this. We will be having diameter for hyperbola. Reflector and it will be having then again some focal point, but then the focal point will be of same, and then we will assume its height from the formula of the parameter that I will show you out in the video. So what we go to this part? So in your template. Like a hyperoptical antennas, I'm going to make a reflector. It will be an integral equation I am solving, so it will be integral. Millimeter, gigahertz, and a second. Uh, I'm making it for 26.5 gigahertz to for K band to 40 gigahertz. I want, I want to assume that so far P as the center of frequency it is 33.25 gigahertz. This is the summary of the time that I am using. Uh, I will go to finish. So I will take this the same parameter where I have used here. And the focus length and diameter for the parabolic reflector is 5800 mm. So I will be just going to F is 50 mm and D is 100 mm. So from that, I will be just going to go to modeling curves 
go to analytical, to analytical curve, curve that is parabola and in here we will find some variable, some variable that is x of t then variable is t and in y of t we will do 0 and z of t is the height so i am going to add it in terms of radius so it will be t square over 4 f okay so, so what will be the range of t? t will start from 0 to radius. What, what is the radius? That is d by 2. So this, this is what I have made. A preview. Okay. t square over 4f. So we have, have seen this, this, this curve has, has been made there. Now, now what I want to do is I am going to speed this to make, make uh, for uh, uh, parabolic, parabolic vector, vector for going, making this sweep, I want, want some shape, shape along which it will be sweep. That, that will be the circle shape, and the circle, circle will be of radius, radius d by 2. Okay. And this is okay. So, so then, then after that, let me draw this. I will, I will be, be going, going to. Here, I will using this shape curve, sweep curve, and I will select the parabola curve and press enter. After that, I want to select the path that it will cycle, and you will see that this is okay. And press okay. So you can see it's just like that. So, so, in components, this ordered one, I want to change the material to PEC. So, so you, you can, can see this by pressing, pressing one. And then again, one, you can get this. So, so we have made, made this parabolic vector. Now, now we, we want to go for our S. Uh, hyperbola reflected to make it get plane. For that, that I want to, uh, you, you know, know the hyperbola equation you've studied in FST part two maths. So from that, I want, I want to add the, the height, height of hyperbola. It is uh, just I am um, taking some parameter. You, you can say uh, take it according to your design. So it will be hyperbola edge. I am taking it as thirty mm. So, so mm is actually my unit. Then, then I'm going, going to take the C. C is some, some constant that we will need to design with field position. So field position at, at width, uh, I will be going to place my source that is, is 5, 5 mm away uh, from my parabolic reflector. Then, then I want to uh, define C constant that it will be F minus F P divided by 2. So, so you should not have these formulas. After that, I want to know about A, the A and B are using hyperbola equation. That A will be. Hyperbola height minus C minus C field position. So this is A. This is hyperbola height minus C minus minus C the constant minus field position. Now I want to define B. That is, is square root into c square minus a square. So it is b is for square root. I will use the command of sqr. A square minus b 
square. square. Just showing some error here. here. So, so I, I need, need to look out for C, C square minus C square. S Q R O C square minus A square. So just showing some correct problem. It is C square minus A square. Now uh, we, we have find, find out our square root C square minus A square. And then in hyperbola, the dial of hyperbola, I'm also taking it as the constant. You see that it, uh, my height is 35 and my that is d is hyperbolic diameter i have a distance of difference of 5 mm that is the field position difference so hyperbolic diameter will be height d by 30 mm so height d is 30 so, so you see I have some, some so my B is 21.2 here, here and other I am having 32.6 so there is some uh, 135 to 2.5 F is 50 D is 100 I hyperbola I is 35 so here, here I have an issue. Mm. And field position A is 7.5. Now, now again, again I go on to curves and an analytical curve. curve. Uh, I, I want, want to make, make it hyperbola. That is uh, T and then height will be of uh, height will be like, like I told, told you about, about this is A steady. I have a question for hyperbola. I will be going, going to enter that, that here. here. So, so what is actually that? Equation is A into steric one, one plus, plus uh, so, so then, then it, it will be having SQR square root one plus T square by variable. So, so T square root would be square that is. is T over B whole square and it will go with the hyperbola diameter by the two radius. I want to see it. okay. I want, I want to make the circle. circle. Go in that it will be the path forward for speed. It will be the radius of height d divided by 2. And TV. So, what, what I need to do is. Again, Again, I go on uh, the, the tool extruder that is sweep curve. I have will set hyperbola and, and then the path is circle. circle. And I just okay. I, I also, also want, want it to be PC. So, so you see, this is just attached. 
I want to move it. So I will be just selecting this solid and go to transform to get it translate. And how much I want to translate it in the direction of hyperbola height. So you see, it will it is transform. Now it has some difference here. This is exactly the same thing I made earlier. And again, again I, want I want to go to paint, paint and uh, I want to remove it out. And I want to again make. So, so you know what we need, need to do is that it is parabolic detector, that is hyperbolic detector, and then here at uh, your sources there, which goes there, goes there, goes there, and then it reflects back. So, so now, now I'm going, going to enter source here. I'm, I'm not going to design source here. I will just export uh, and import my um, previous, previously designed in Kinas uh, source here. here. So, so I go to uh, file here and, and I will open my own antenna which I made in the previous video. So I go, I go to Horn CST video. So, so here I go to put 2D, 3D results. Or not 2D, they are partial results. And then I go and set it over here. This, this is my, you can, can see the gain is 15.6 dB. So, so again, again I, I go, go to properties, properties. I go, go to save as source, internship, and I want to save it as source PG. Go to FSS, uh, save it as Then I will go to my this is here, and I go to Partial sources and, and right click in new partial source. I want, I want to import it file so that is source video reference open so that will be in the direction at field position FP. I defined it here. Yeah. So, so I want to go for preview and you see it is detecting. If, if it, it is not in this direction, you just go and press the Minus one, one to reverse this direction. direction. So, so we do not need it in the di this direction. direction. So, so we will take, take it as a year. So oh, press OK. OK. So, so now, now you can. can I you have seen it. I have already entered the field monitors. From my desired frequency. And, and I have displaced my source. source. And then this is then I, I will go to simulation and then go to setup. Start, start it. I will start, start it. it. It will it just take a little time. time. Uh, you need to show you the meaning that I'm talking about this. Design I have the setup design in front, in front of you. You, you will see the gain will increase and the beam will become more directive. So. so There is some problem. I do not want my results. I just want to check that out. Part is sources. position. Okay, yeah, everything is okay. Okay. Close. I don't define my frequency range. 
simulations and I can change. This is just my card to 40. I will define my free normal here. I will go again back to simulation. Started. So you just, just need to wait a little bit for of this for all now. So, so there, there was an issue with the tag go to the city list. Uh, but the coping data to go to solid two. And define a file curve, hyperbola, define an analytical curve, so write it in this form, and then press OK. Close, go to history list, and maybe your order will be different, but search for Translate option that it is for the two full jump transform here. That transformation will and delete that, that. and the chain material of solid two you have given also, also delete that. that easy. Yes, and now of course, okay. Now, now it is there. there. Okay, now, now first, first go to solid two and go to model option. option. And go to translate option and give it translate it as hyperbola height. Press OK. Now go to solid 2 and right click and chain material. Go to PEC. OK. Now go again to your powerful source. Uh, double click it. Edit. Again, this, this is make, make position, position one, one, and, and I, I want, want to take my direct source. source. Okay. Okay. Close. Close. You, you can see that now, now I will go to simulation, simulation set the solver, and start the solver. And it will take a little time. time. The results. Okay, rather than this, you find, find some, some issues. issues. You, you can, can contact, contact me. Recommending like in the video. Okay. okay. So you see the results in the integrality, good power field. So you see the gain, it has become, become more directive and the gain is equal to 24.8 dB. It only one was of 15.6 dBi and then now it is 24.8 and you can see the pattern as well. Uh, but going to follow plots, you can see the half hour beam it is 31.4 dB. And in this type uh, of our is 5.9 degree. So, this is how we are made, and the results have changed. Thank, Thank you for watching. I got to bless you. I love this.